Hi everybody, it's Tamara from Prairie Town Girl here on Etc. Eyes. Welcome back. I have a super fun, I think, and incredibly easy project for us to do today. This is something that will take minutes and I, I think it adds quite a bit of impact to your journals. Um, you all know, if you've been with me for a while, you know how much I love using beautiful napkins in um, in my journals and usually I use it with Mod Podge or that kind of thing um, but today I have something very different we're going to do belly bands with napkins and you might think well a napkin isn't strong enough to be a belly band because it can tear so easily but um, I figured out a way to do it so you can still use your beautiful napkins and get the effect so there's I'm gonna show you three different ways and one doesn't use a napkin it's just something fun it's like a bonus for you guys but the first two we're going to use napkins so here's the first one and you can see it does have a bit of a shine on it but it's super sturdy it's in there and it's um, I think the glue is still a little bit wet because I just put it in there um, but it's not going to tear when I put something behind it um, same with this one that it got in here now this one has a matte finish how did I get that you're gonna find out right away but again it's not going to tear and I do get a bit of that translucency behind it where it's lighter in color um, so let's get started Okay, I've got my napkin all laid out and I haven't even taken off the white layers. I've left those on for now. And all I'm going to do is take some packing tape, clear packing tape, pull out a strip and lay it down on top of my napkin. And I want to try to get this butterfly here, so let's see what happens. and just gently push it down. Try not to get any creases in it. So obviously this is going to be the one that is a little more shiny and you can see the um, the white is actually the white layer just is coming off all on its own and there's always a there's usually a second layer of white so let's get that off actually I'm gonna leave that on for a second because what I want to do is cut right along piece of tape and sometimes that's easier when you've got a little bit more bulk to work with okay and now you can see again that white layer just comes off all by itself and now I've got basically I've got my belly band <laughs> I just cut it to size and um, glue it down on my page and I'll do that in a second with you. Um, you might, I can see I went a little crooked on my cut there so I can just sort of clean that up a little bit. And if you have really sharp decorative scissors you can even cut a decorative edge on this. My scissors aren't sharp enough unless I um, put another piece of paper behind it which I don't really want to do because then I lose that um, the translucence uh, quality of the paper which is what I like so much about napkins so there we go so I'm gonna set that aside for just a moment and we'll come back and work with that but that's the shiny side one and we can use this same napkin and for this one I am going to take all the layers of white off and I'm going to work on the back side and I'm just going to do the exact same thing I'm just going to put something down on top so that it doesn't sort of blow away on me except I'm putting the tape 
on the back this time. And you might find, because of static in the air, uh, it's winter where I live right now, and there's loads of static electricity in the air, and the tape just sort of, or the, the paper just sort of whoosh, sucks itself up to the tape here because the air is so dry and there's so much static. So you kind of have to work with that. If you are lucky and you're living someplace where it's much warmer and more humid, you probably won't have that issue. Okay, and so then again, I'm just going to cut it right along the line of the tape, if you can see it. <laughs> Luckily, I have my glasses on and I can sort of see it for the most part. So there you go. It's just another strip of napkin, but now the shiny side is on the back. So you just get the napkin and the translucency of the napkin and the feel of the napkin, um, but it's much, much stronger. Like That's not going to tear if I put something, if I use it to hold other things. Okay, so let's put this in a journal. I'll just grab one of my journals that's close by here. I'll find an empty page. I'm sure there's something in here. I can go right here, I guess. Um, so I, the first thing I'm going to do is just going to fold over one end. There's lots of ways you can do this. You could, like, I'm just going to put it on one page, but if your strip was long enough, you could have it come all the way around and just attach it to itself. But I'm going to, <clears throat> I'm just going to fold over one end and whoa, I'm going to use some wet glue and I'm just going to put the glue on that piece that's folded over. And line that up with the bottom of my page. Oh, I actually really like this together. That looks really nice. Now, if I want sort of a tighter fit, I'm, I am going to fold it around the top to get just to get my fold line. I'm not going to glue it down until I fold it over that edge. Mark it with a fold. And then I can trim that down a little bit. And put some glue again on that inside fold. And then line that edge with the top, obviously. There we go. And this napkin is um, embossed even, so that it even adds a little bit more texture on top of the texture of the napkin, because the napkin almost feels like fabric in a way. There we go. Isn't that pretty? And so, like, so beyond easy. <laughs> Just takes seconds to, to make these. Um, yeah, and then I would just do the exact same thing with this one, but it would have more of a shiny effect. Um, the th third one, the bonus one, um, I'm not going to make it with you on camera, I don't think, but I will show it to you because I think it's pretty fun. I, um, well, let me see here. Maybe I will have to do it on camera. I took a piece of that white uh, layer that we got rid of before and I used that to make this one. Now for this I'm going to use just little scraps of um, 
threads and fabric and things, I have a serger and everything that comes off the serger sewing machine falls into a little basket. Like this. And it comes off in like sort of little shreddy, shredded pieces. And I don't empty my basket anywhere near often enough. <laughs> so I have lots of little pieces from all different projects and all different colors. And I'm just going to put that down here. Sort of try to put it in a long line because we're just all we're going to do is put a piece of tape over top of it. Okay, so you can put as much or as little as you want. And it doesn't have to be exactly like within a certain, like it can go over the edge or whatever. And then we just take our tape. press it down. It's nice if you do have some uh, empty areas where the tape can cling to the backing. Okay, so again I'm just going to cut that right close to the tape. Catch all those little bits. Some of the threads and the fabric um, are right on the edge, like right here. So you can see how this has stayed open. The tape didn't, whoops, there we go. The tape didn't um, seal, right? So all you do is you take that over to your sewing machine and you sew along the edges to catch everything, basically creating like a little bag. Um, for all those bits and pieces. And then again, you just cut it where you need to, glue it down, and I think I'm going to save this one and put it in my sewing journal for the day that I finally ever make it. <laughs> I keep saying I'm going to make a sewing journal, but I haven't yet. But when I do, this will be perfect for it because it um, it'll remind me of all the projects that I've made. So... There you go. So we've got um, we've got our shiny one, we've got our matte one, and we've got our bonus one here. There you go. Three quick and easy projects that you can do in no time flat. There you go. I hope that um, um, sparks a little creativity for you and uh, makes you sort of look at your napkins in a little bit of a different way and you find some uses for them. And uh, just in case you want to see it in action, there you go. There's my belly band in action. And so there you can also see how nice and um, see-through it is there. So there you go. Have a great day, everybody. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope to see you back soon. Bye-bye.